Got a request for Eric the 14th of Sweden. Okay, I have to let you know about this guy. Um, he, wow, he's got quite the story. He is one flavorful guy, like quite the history. Um, and it, he was born on December 13th, 1533. Okay, a few years ago, long time ago. Um, but sadly, he, his mom died before he was even two years old. And they think that's part of the cause of his nicknames. And I'll get into that because he had many nicknames and they were flavorful. Flavor, flavor. Anyways, we're going to get started with his head. He has a very long head. So we're going to get started with a circle. For the head. Now, his, since his head is so long, we are now going to, coming off of here, this is his, like, we'll make a little lump coming off here, and we're going to bring it down, okay? And what are we going to do on this side? This is kind of like his chin here, his head. Okay, so we can erase the bottom here. We don't need this anymore. And he's looking at you, but his head is this way. So, kind of like where his head is and his eyes. Okay, that's, that's where we're going. He's got this long head. And uh, so, we're going to put his eye here. So, right here, we're going to put his eye. Normal shaped eye here. Bloop. And he's looking off to this side here. Looking over there. Hey, what's up? What's up? He's got a very high crease. Okay, looking over there. Now, for this one, right on this line, we're gonna bring in his nose. So, you can see on that line where it's gonna bring it down. This will be his nose. And then behind that is gonna be his other eye. So we're gonna put, look. What am I doing? Okay, hold on, let's try this again. Okay, and he's looking over this side. Uh, so we got a little shiny and a pupil. Now I looked in a lot of pictures. His color was vague, but from the description of his hair, he's like a blondish redhead, orangish redhead. He's going to have light eyes. And so at first I did them as brown eyes, but I'm like, you know what? I really doubt he had brown eyes. So there's a little brown still in there, but I put him as blue because 99% if you are light skinned with red hair you're gonna have like blue or green eyes so there you have it um so that's his little crease and then now let's put his eyebrow in here little eyebrow and we'll put this eyebrow in here well wow, he's looking he's looking fine no he's not anyways okay super duper so he got his little nose all right so we can erase our crossbar. We don't need that anymore. And okay, let's put his little mouth. So, mouth in there. We could erase that. Right, that's not his. He's got a big beard, so it looks funny. What do we know? Um, he was so Eric. The, oops, losing pencils. Eric the Fourteenth of Sweden was a crowned prince, and um. As monarch, he tried to create a territorial and trading empire around the Baltic Sea. And he was king because his dad died. Okay. Oh, go back and tell the story. So, we're going to go into it. But he didn't have good luck with women. Like, he kept asking women, we're going to put this in here, to marry him. He'd pursue women. And they all would say, heck to the no. Like, no, mm-mm. I guess they could kind of give him the EBG because this is like hairline, okay? He always kept his hair short and this crazy beard. Anyways, as he was dating this one lady who he had two kids with, not married, naughty boy, um, he went to go pursue Queen Elizabeth the first because he's like, she's going to be mine. Even though he had two kids with this other person, still. He was sailing off to go see Queen Elizabeth and take her heart, which wasn't going to happen. And he got word. Let's put his ear here. 
he got word that his dad died. So what does that mean when you're, when you're a prince and your dad dies? Well, he automatically became the king. So he had to turn his ship around and go back to rural Sweden. Anywho. Oh, you know what? We're going to bring this his head out more because this is looking a little funny. Bring this below the ear. There we go. Oh, that's looking so much better. Erase that in there. Turn it around so he never got a swoo Elizabeth the first. And anyways, let's put, we're going to put in this little curvy curve. And he had a beard going on, so... gonna be a long 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 beard putting in the beard and it's gonna come his little mustache comes over anyways he thought he was all that in a bag of chips you know <laughs> clearly not <gasps> I gotta tell you some of his nicknames okay let's erase this we don't need this we're gonna put his beard in there yes he loved his beard with his orange hair All right, some of his nicknames, um, let's see, were Mad King of Sweden. That's a great name. Or The Butcher King, because there was lots of bloodshed. Not a good name. Um, they called him Unhinged, Immoral, and had a bloody reign. Wow. The more I hear about this guy, yikes. That's all I can say. Okay, we're going to erase this part. We're going to be putting in this high collar here. Every time I'd see him, you know, looking all royal in his high collar, big old honky collar. And then we're going to um, make his little ruffle here. Woohoo! It's like a roller coaster. Great job. Um, oh, let's finish off his lips here. And put his upper lip. Mm, let me fix that up a little bit. I don't know. He looked awesome, but I was the more I looked into him, I'm like, guys, crazy. So his lips, and then he's got the little chin thing that's coming down. This is his hair under his lip. All right, he's looking good. Funky old beard that was split in two. Why? He probably thought he was so suave and cool. You know, we all know those people that were like, dude, you're just like a normal one of us. And they're like, no, I'm not. This is his cape that's coming over. Great. This is his other half of the capes coming around the other side. So this, you're gonna end up coloring all this in black. That's his cape. What else do I know? Ooh. Mm, no. Mm -mm. I already told you about Queen Elizabeth. Fail. A bunch of people fail. Um, all right. Let's get his outfits. All of his outfits. Oh, you know what? His It's looking a little too. We're going to flatten this just a touch. So it's coming out like this. Let's just bring it flat a little bit because it's looking look like too big brain here. That looks better. He had big little cheekbones, very gaunt. And then when you do do it, you don't want to do this, but with pencil, you're going to kind of give him his little bags under his eyes. Yeah, he's looking good. Okay, so for his clothes, we are going to make it elaborate. So we're going to, oh, what's that? He, uh, let's see what else. I think I got it. Oh, um, but he was a bright child. I mean, that means he's very smart and very good in English and math. Um, so he was good at school. I give him that one. But probably not other things in the world, right? Okay, these are his little decorative pieces here. Almost looks like a... All right, 
last one here. Boop. <sighs> okay, so now we're going to do triangles in here. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know, he sounds like a character, right? But you know what? Without those characters in life, history would probably be boring, but no, history is not boring. No way. All right, here we go. These are like little uh, Chevron images, so we're gonna do a couple of those coming down. do three in a row and I'll come down here and do three more. One, two, three. Do the same thing over here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Okay. So when you color him, what I used, because they said they described his hair as reddish blonde. So I did a base coat of golden yellow. Then I put orange in there and some light brown. You kind of just keep mixing. It's gonna be darker along the edge. Give him a slight rosy cheek with his nose a little rosy and lips a little rosy, okay? I probably, oh, you know what I would probably do is I'd make his eyebrows a little bit darker because they were darker in the picture and I forgot to do that. So I'm gonna make his eyebrows darker. Anyways, just picture them darker. Anyways, I hope yours turns out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.